Welcome back to Far Cry 4. You join us today just as we arrive at the Kyra Tea Factory to try and make a decision on what way the Golden Path is going next. First of all, we need to go and see Amita. I'm guessing she's not going to be too pleased with our choices so far. We've kind of not really followed her path so far, mainly because I've kind of disagreed with her choices. I'm kind of making the choices as I would want to make them myself. Let's speak to Amita. Amita. Are you okay? Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the Golden Path. The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage. I am every bit the fighter, the Kirati that they are, but they... They just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? Sabal, he's got all these supporters, and I just I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just missing the point? No, indecision is for the weak. Okay. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Sabal wants to destroy it, he's so sure of himself. And you want to capture it? Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. So once again, we need to go and approach both of these two and decide which path to follow, what route to take. So let's speak to Sable and see what his plan actually is. Sabal, Amita told me about the brick factory. And I bet she cried on your shoulder. Did she give you that sob story about being the first woman in the Golden Path? She's tried that with me. But she didn't fool you, did she, brother? This heroin is poison, pure and simple. Take out Noah's men and bring down the factory. End of story. So Sable wants to destroy the Roshan brick factory to prevent it from further opium production. Completely makes sense. Let's double check what um, Amateur wants us to do. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noor's brick factory without destroying it. We'll put it to good use later. Ajay, be careful, huh? It's very well guarded. Amateur wants us to capture and protect the Brick Factory so we can process opium and fund the rebellion. Now, I've always been very anti-drugs and I kind of don't think selling drugs to fund a rebellion is the right move, personally. Also, if we take it, Pagan Ming can then take it back. You see the way I'm going here. I'm kind of going to Sable side because why take a building that Pagan can take back? That's kind of my thinking, because then we'll just have to defend it constantly. And that takes men away from the main path we want to follow. So, we want to follow Sable on this one. We're going to go and destroy the Roshan Brick Factory. Now we just need to go and pick up some satchel charges. So, we're at the building where the satchel charges are meant to be. But I have also noticed there's something else here. It is a propaganda poster. Now, on most of the videos, you may not have seen us take these down. But I am taking them down as and when we come across them. So we are we have done a fair amount so far. Generally we have to use a Molotov cocktail if we can't reach where they are. But this one we can tear down ourselves. Right, let's head inside. Ajay, Sabal said to expect you. We have all the explosives you could ever want. Grab what you need and then meet the Havildar up the hill.
Okay, I think we're fully stocked. We now need to head just up the hill here and speak to the rebel leader and try and work out a plan of attack. I'm not too sure what we're going to have to do here to blow this up. I'm guessing we're not just going to run in and take the thing down. I think there's going to be a bit more strategy involved. But we'll see if the rebel leader has a plan in mind first. And here he is, just round the corner. Are you the Havildar? Havidar, Sergeant, either one. It's an honor, son of Mahan. You see the smokestack? Cut the cable support and bring it down. It should create a nice hole to get you inside the facility. Cut how? Now that's the question, right? And save the explosive for the smokestack, the interior, and use the elephants to take out the cable wrenches. Have fun. So we need to pull the cables down that are keeping up the chimney stack. Then the chimney stack can fall and we can head inside the factory itself. There is a lot of people here. Dogs as well. A few guards around. There's the poles we need to pull out. The rebel leader did talk about using elephants to help us. Uh, there's a car patrolling there. I think there's an elephant to the left as well. Um, okay. I kind of think we need to take as many people out as quietly as possible. Um, I generally know how that goes for me, and generally not very well. We end up having a big fight. But on this occasion, I think we need to play this smart. I don't want to use the elephant until we're ready to, if that makes sense. I don't think using an elephant to take down the poles too early would work very well for us. So if we can take down as many guards as silently as possible, sniper rifle being the ideal chosen method, and that will enable us to actually get close before jumping on an elephant and potentially then being killed. I also don't want the elephant getting killed if we can avoid it. So we have to hang someone down. There's a lot of people here though. This is going to be really pick the shots. Make sure the body is not going to be seen. Um, because I don't want to cause any alarms or anything to go off. We can avoid it. Another nice headshot there. I think that was a headshot. We killed him anyway. He's down. That's the main important thing. Trying to shoot the alarm there. We managed to do it. So that's two, two alarms remaining. Ideally, we want all the alarms out. I think, I think that's also a big thing for us to do. Make sure there's no alarms that can be set up so there's no reinforcements. Five cables in total we've got to take down. So yeah, I think slow and steady definitely works here. We've got another guy in there. There we go, he's down as well. We've just got to be accurate. The, most of the time when our slow, methodical method goes wrong, it's when I miss a shot. Currently, we're doing really well with headshots, but it's generally... I miss a shot and that alerts them and then we're in trouble. So I've got to be very careful here. So we can see the second alarm just over there. We need to get an angle on it if possible. So let's keep heading round here. We saw the law we get spotted, but we'll try not to. Keep heading round and just try and get different angles to our best. This may not be the best, most showy, most fast approach, but this is the approach that I think will keep us from being killed. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for, really, to be fair. Another guy down in the car. That may get spotted. We may get away with it, I think. Another guy here. He's down. I think a body has been spotted now, though. So they are going to get a bit antsy, but we need this alarm out as well. There we go. Alarm down. That's one alarm, alarm remaining. Another car just pulled up now. That's not good. More men. I don't want more people. We want less. Can't keep taking them out methodically if more keep arriving. Right, there's another two over there. They are spotting us. Someone is anyway. I didn't see where that come from. But someone's spotting us. I'm not ready really to go loud just yet. So far our method has been working. For once, we've actually managed to fulfill what we want to do. But, someone is peeking at us here. Can't see anyone up there. Where were they? Someone saw us and I don't know where they are. That's a little bit concerning. Okay, we'll keep using the hill. Keep trying to get round this. We still have one more alarm we need to take out as well. And I think that's a big thing to do before we get too involved here. Can we see anyone? There's the alarm we want. Just over the far side. So we'll keep trying to get round the edge here. There's there's the elephant. Or there's at least an, an elephant we can use. Let's keep heading round. Can't see anyone for the minute. It's all about being eyes open, I think, more than anything else. And just making sure we are as careful as possible. Okay. 
So far, and I, I know I might jinx it now, but we're actually doing really well. Normally when I try and do this, we fail miserably, get seen really early, and then end up in a massive firefight. We generally come out on top, but still. It's, it's actually quite nice not to have a massive firefight. Okay. What have we got? There's a guy there. Anyone else? Uh, where's that alarm? The alarm's there. I can get a shot. Leaves in the way. Come on. Have we got it? All alarms are now disabled. Okay, perfect. So even if we do end up going loud, reinforcements will not be called. So that's a good thing. Now it's a case of still working our way around. There's still more people here. There's another one there we haven't marked up. It's always the iffy part. If there's people not marked up, that could cause us an issue. But I think... Keep heading around. There's another guy to the left over here. I think we deal with him and then potentially it may be elephant time. But first of all, let's just make sure we're safe. Make sure we've got a reloaded sniper rifle just in case. Can we see anyone on there take out quietly? Probably not. There was a few people on that top stack there. But uh, I think we're okay to ignore them for the minute. Mainly because they're all near each other. Right, we've got our knives. I'm going to try and take out this guy silently. And see if that works. I'm, I'm definitely feeling better there's no alarms. So even if it does go wrong, they're not going to put an alarm on us and get loads of reinforcements. Just taking it slow and making sure there's no one around here that's going to see us. Let's see them all clear for the minute. Okay, nice and slow. I might, yeah, take the bow out. It's a bit easier for close combat. And we have also got the knives as well. Takedown would be handy, but not necessary if need be. There we go. Nice down. Nice knife attack in the end. Okay. There's an elephant right near us as well. So it might be worth trying to use him, actually. Is there anyone else nearby? There was a dog somewhere. But I don't know where that's disappeared. Okay. I don't think we can do anything else. I think we have to use the elephant to pull these down. Is there a dog around? It was somewhere. Not sure now. Okay. I think we free the elephant. And then we can start. A nice elephant ride. I will say, riding an elephant and using our grenade launcher, <laughs> perfect. It was just one of those really match made in heaven moments that worked really well. So that's everyone taken down as far as we can tell. 
Uh, we need to get on top now. Let's get down. Okay. Ow! I think the elephant just hit us. The elephant's just helped us and now it's decided to attack us. I think we just got too close. But, uh, I think there is an enemy. Oh no, enemy's down. Whoever that was to the left hand side is gone. It was on the mini map there. The elephant might have got him to be fair on the other side. But yeah, that wasn't very nice to the elephant, was it? Right, let's place our charges and then we can blow this up. Sabal, the brick factory is toast. That's great news, brother. We were being poisoned, but you fulfilled Kira's vision for her people. We have a shot at being pure again and one with the land. The old ways are coming home thanks to you, son of Mohan. And that is the brick factory taken down. I think we did really well, to be fair. I think the fact we stayed stealth for so long was a testament to how much I've improved. <laughs> More luck than anything else, I think, really, to be honest. But I think we did really well. That is the basic chemistry mission complete. That is us done for today as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you're enjoying this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episodes does help, and ring the bell to not miss an upload. We're going to be back very soon with more Far Cry 4.